Hello, welcome back to Linux Wednesdays, where we look at Linux tips and tricks on a Wednesday. Happy New Year to you all. Hope you had a good Christmas and a good New Year. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to add the browser source or Linux browser to OBS. Now, maybe you've just downloaded OBS and you think, well, where's the browser source? Now, the browser source means you can add things like chat and different websites when you do your live streams. So we go to this website here, which is the GitHub, and we're going to do... Um, releases version 061 of the OBS Linux browser and I'll link this in below, you ain't got to worry about uh, copying all that down I'll link this website in, in below and if we click on Linux browser 061-OBS 2302-64bit.tgz if you do that one and now we're going to save the file which goes into our download so I'm going to press on save Take a few seconds. Now all I do is go to my downloads. Minimize that one. Put it up there. Go back to the home folder. And I'm going to press on Control and H to show hidden files. We show hidden files. I'm going to go to dot config. And now I'm going to go to OBS Studio, which is just here. You'll see here we've got basic logs, plugin config, profiler data, and global INI. If I right click and go create folder and call it plugins, and press enter, go to our plugins folder, and our Linux browser, I want to extract that file there to the plugins folder now if you already run an OBS just quit it and restart and there we go so now I can run OBS get rid of this one let's run OBS and I did a live stream the other day so let's just remove all this stuff so I'll remove Remove, 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 and then remove again. I can then add with the plus. I can now go browser. Now, if it's already in there, you ain't got to worry about following the steps I've just done. If it's not in there, it should either show up as browser or will show up as uh, Linux browser. Now, you can browse that website. And try and find a later version, but the one I found that seems to come up with browser is at 061. So we're going to press on browser and we're going to call it a uh, web browser. Press OK, and you see there it says URL https obsproject.com browser source, and we can do www.duckduckgo.com, and there we go. You can tell you what frames you want and all that sort of stuff. Press OK. And there we go. There is DuckDuckGo. We can add that to our live stream. So I'll just press on transition. There you go. DuckDuckGo. You can make it bigger. And transition. Now in here, so your web browser source, you can change that to whatever you want. So if I go properties, I can change to Google, Yahoo.com. So www.yahoo.com. UK, press OK, Yahoo then comes up and you can use that as your YouTube chat, it's very handy, you can make your YouTube chat go you know, nice and small down there, transition that one across, go small, you can have your game playing here, video yourself there, that sort of stuff, so you can read your comments whilst you're playing your game or doing your live stream, and that was how to add the uh, web browser or Linux browser or browser source to OBS, if you found the video of some use, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. As always, thank you very much for watching Linux Wednesdays. I'll see you in the next video.